in, in Syria's economy, I don't see that happening in the near future. Sorry. I said this morning, we were not great. Like I recently attended a kiddies party and I saw all the beautiful babies. Oh my God, those little, little mice. That's a no. That's a hard no. <laughs> also, I call my grandmother and my little sister. Not my lady. A lady crazy as hell. <laughs> uh, your stance on marriage has it changed, especially after Diesel. One of my favorite things about my sister and where she's at right now is that she's just doing her thing and she's thriving. Good sis, please share some tips on how to keep things spicy. Date each other every day. Choose each other every day. Like even when you have random conversations. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is an updated Q&A and I'm really, really excited to film this one because there's a lot of you here. There's a lot of new members here, a lot of new members to the JK squad. I am so excited and so thankful. In the month of October, we got about 2,400, 500 new followers. And I was just like, what? But then I eventually saw that it was because of one of the shorts that I put up. I'll put the short up here. And I was like, damn. Okay, so we've got new family members to the JK fam, to the Katleo Malela family, and I'm so, so excited and thankful and also very, very grateful that you chose to subscribe and to join the family. So because of that, I was just like, okay, <laughs> let me just sit and get comfortable, okay? I was just like, well, let's do an updated, um, I was just like, well, let's do an updated Q and A because I haven't done one in such a long time. And I really just want to chill, hang out and have a conversation with you guys. So I put it in my community tab on YouTube and as well is on Instagram where I was like, listen guys, I'm filming. And because of that, I would love for you guys to send in some questions about things that you want to know about. Or if you are new and you don't know who the hell is this girl? Who the hell is this girl? Then put in your questions and then we will get to answering them. So the first question was, how's Diesel? I love your content and I'm so motivated to cook and eat a healthy food. Um, Diesel is great. He's fine. He's a man, what are you gonna do? Do you know what I mean? No, actually, honestly, he's really, really good. We're great. Except this morning, we were not great, but we're fine now. We're very, very good. Let me. <laughs> uh, everything is going solid with Mr. D. He's doing all right. Um, you say I'm motivated to cook and eat healthy food. I am so glad you are because girl, I don't know where I'm at about that. Mm. I mean, I cook and uh, eat healthy food here and there, but I really have kind of slipped off from that a little bit. And it's just, I'm also quite, uh, easy on myself given the fact that it is the latest part of the year i'm really not bothered about oh i still need to eat healthy all of this nah i eat healthy where i can and then if i feel like having like a small bowl of chips or if i feel like having a burger or if i feel like having zinger wings i'll have them i have been addicted to zinger wings lately from kfc i don't even know i buy them every other week and I absolutely love them. I never finish them, but I buy them every other week and I absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. Do you plan on having kids in the near future? Again, the jury's out on that um, because I find myself some days I really do want to have kids. Like I recently attended a kiddies party and I saw all the beautiful babies. Oh my God, those little, little mice. <laughs> Uh, I loved seeing the kids so, so much. But for me, I change my mind about it every other day. Some days I do, some days I don't. I was actually having a really serious conversation with Diesel 
a couple of weeks ago where I was just like, you know, we could just do this life thing with just me and you. What do you think? And he was like, girl, <laughs> have you met my girlfriend? She is hot. I want to have a baby with that woman. And I was just like, I don't. <laughs> so, and then tomorrow I'll wake up and then I'll be like, okay, 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 baby. Okay, baby in the bump. Okay, okay, maternity shoots. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, near future, absolutely not. There's still so much to do, especially between Diesel and I and all the things that we want to do and accomplish and the things that we have to get going, working out logistics between me and him and all of that, finances. So there's, in, in Serial's economy, I don't see that happening in the near future. Sorry. How many cars do you have? Yo, and yes, the sound. And yes, and I'm the four hands. This is a really weird question, but sure, I'll answer it. I've got two. I've got two cars. I had three and then I had to let go of one because it just didn't make any sense for me anymore. Um, because you end up driving the others more than the other. And then it was just like, nah, it's, it's time for it's time don't be selfish so i ended up um, selling the other one and i'm okay with that um thinking of getting a new one next year but one will have to go before i get the other one so we'll see we'll see maybe maybe not we'll see um when it's all said and done what would you like to be reminded of Ooh, i think she means what would you like to be remembered for if that is the case um it's a simple answer just for how i've impacted positively i hope uh the lives of many i just want to have i i've said it before even if i can help one person even if it's not financially um where i can i do help financially and i contribute uh financially you know to a couple of people where i help them and i help put food on the table and things like that but the more important thing for me is generally just to be remembered for the contribution that I brought to the world and how I helped someone um, outside of it being financially, just help them emotionally, help them mentally, uh, help them grow into themselves, be confident in themselves, that kind of thing, um, and know that they are great and that they are powerful and that they can be whatever they want to be in the world or help someone understand themselves better. That is my purpose for the world just to help in that way and i feel like i'm slowly living it through my coaching so for me i find i find that i'm well on my way i'm well on my way mm. can we please see our spari diesel button <laughs> that's a no that's a hard no <laughs> Yeah, that's a hard no. I don't hide him, right? I don't hide him in the sense that I never want to be seen anywhere with him. A lot of the people who have seen me with Diesel out and about will actually attest to the fact that they've seen me with Diesel out and about. I know a few people who do watch this channel who have seen me with him, who have asked him to take pictures of me and them uh, while I was out and about with him. And I, I don't have a problem with that. Um... Diesel is extremely introverted. Uh, I'm introverted, but I think he goes one up. He definitely ones up, one ups me, and uh, I respect that. And I also don't like uh, publicizing my personal life in that manner. I never have, especially on my channel. Um, it was the first time where I did a Q and A with him, and you heard his voice in the background. Even though people were like, "You didn't give him enough time to talk," and if you were a member you would realize that in the second part of that video, he actually does talk quite a, quite a little bit more than he does because there's two parts to that video. So be a member. <laughs> but uh, outside of that, no. I think he's, he's extremely introverted with an element of shy. Like he doesn't, he don't like it. And I don't like it for us either. So ask easy, ask easy. I mean, I'm sorry, but not sorry. You hear the chat. You hear the chat. And I feel like uh, Lerato Hamanyane did it so well when she got married and uh, she posted pictures of her wedding um, on her Instagram. And in none of those pictures was her husband. So 
I think I'm probably going to do the same thing. I really genuinely think I'm going to do the same thing. I'll post the dress, I'll post the venue, post the whatever, blah, 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 but not him. And I feel like that's a part of my life that, that I would like to keep to myself. Same applies with my father. Those who know, know. And uh, that's it. I, I wouldn't show them online. Personally. Uh, keep showing up. I love it. I love it for us. What do you even mean? Mm. I'm having seriously all dirt by Villafonte. Delicious. Delicious. Your house is beautiful. Rikopa House Tour. This is the same person again who asked me about seeing Diesel. I'm not going to do a house tour either. And thank you very, very much uh, to saying that the house is beautiful from what you see. Uh, put a lot of work and effort into this spot. And uh, my, family, my family helped me a lot as well, especially my dad when I moved in. The, the what do you call these things? The American shutters that I have on my windows, the ones that you see me opening in my vlogs, my dad was the one who insisted I put those up and he helped me do that. He like paid for them because girl, in a house this size, it's a lot of money. Um, but yeah, outside of that, everything just screams me. There's plants, the colors that I like in a home, um, not very loud colors. There's my books everywhere. I've got books in every single part of my home. And it's such a true reflection to who I am and what I love. So love that for me. What would you advise a 21-year-old who's in a toxic relationship with a 23-year-old for four years? Um, why? My question would be why? You deserve more, you deserve better, you don't deserve to be in a space where you feel like you have to question everything or you have to doubt yourself or the relationship, especially at 21. You are young, you are still going to have so many beautiful moments, so many heartbreaking moments when it comes to relationships that um, I just choose yourself. Choose yourself. You're 21. There really is so much time to find someone who is ordained for you and who God has chosen for you that at 21, you really shouldn't be feeling that um, something is toxic. The relationship you're in is toxic. When you need to pick me up, what is your go-to activity? <laughs> Alcohol is no. I don't really like to share this one, but I'm going to share it now. When I need to pick me up, one of my favorite restaurants to go to is Olives and Plates. And specifically the one in Hyde Park Corner. I love it. I go there alone. And the reason why I love it is because it's inside a bookstore. I'll see if I can put pictures and all of that. So you walk in, as you walk in, it is exclusive books. And as you work further in, it is olives and plates. And it's the epitome for me of a stunning, stunning restaurant with exceptional food. Olives and Plates is one of the restaurants in my life that I feel is great in terms of aesthetics, how they prepare their food, the deliciousness of their food. Um, but that's my one go-to activity I read as well to pick me up. Um, I like to just go somewhere and eat and have access to books. I think for me, that is just... Uh, Go to activity. Also, I call my grandmother and my little sister. Not my lady. A lady crazy as hell. <laughs> but I'll call um, my grandmother and my little sister and I'll speak to them. And often that helps me quite a lot. Any tips and advice you have about finding one's purpose? Okay, they're about to cut my grass, so at some point I'm going to have to stop filming um, and have them do their thing. But uh, in terms of purpose, and I think they're in my yard, personally. Um, in terms of purpose, I think harness what you love. If there's something that you really love and your mind just and your heart smiles every time you think about it or you think about doing it or whatever, focus on that. Uh, zero in on that. Finding your purpose it comes with the small things, the small things that lighten up your day, the small things that bring you contentment and joy, whatever they may be. Some people uh, get contentment and joy from, from studying. 
or uh, mathematics or being in labs and doing scientific studies and whatever. So it depends. It, it really doesn't matter what it is. But I think it's about listening to your mind and listening to your spirit and focusing and harnessing what it is that actually brings out light in you. What it is that makes you feel like there's a reason why you're here on this earth and you're so thankful that you get to do this or you get to feel this way about this particular thing every single day. So that's how I would say start, you know, and then eventually as you go, there's certain avenues that will branch off from that, that will make you um, harness it a lot more, a lot better. Uh, your stance on marriage, has it changed, especially after diesel? <sighs> absolutely not it hasn't um one of the other conversations that diesel and i do have is about just living together and creating a life together without having to tie the knot so for me uh, it's different because i'm with him and i think he does want to tie the knot eventually but again he's also in no rush for that with me not really as long as i can wake up next to the person that i love um, marriage is not going to, a piece of paper is not going to change that outlook uh, for me. It's not going to change anything for me. I personally feel like if we're meant to be together, we're going to be together uh, forever uh, until our last breath with or without the marriage aspect in it. And for me, that's all that matters. Personal, personally, for me, that's all that matters. Um, your subscriber count has grown. How do you feel about that? Shocked. Shocked. Because it happened in such a short space of time. I feel grateful and I feel shocked. Also really shocked because of what made it grow. I realized it was that one particular short that made it grow. And in that short, I was just doing my makeup. And I had the make me swear, make me playing in the background. And... That was it. That was honestly it. And, and my subscriber count shot up. Am I happy that there are more people in the JK family? Absolutely. Absolutely. Am I grateful for it? Absolutely. Um, am I feeling the closeness to 40K? Absolutely. Um, so I'm just thankful. I'm just in a space where I'm just like thankful that so many of you guys choose me every day and you find me funny and you find my vlogs entertaining. Like my vlogs don't have me unboxing a new bag every day or, or, or traveling every day or whatever. And um, at a certain point in my life, I could have done that, but I'm not at that place in my life where I can just unbox a bag and whatever and uh, um, travel every five minutes and whatever. That's, that's not where I'm at. I have more pressing things that I need to pay attention to. Um, financially, I'm not where I used to be. I'm building it up, but very slowly. And I'm choosing to be much more responsible with my money. And so because of that, a lot of my vlogs are just me at home or me being out and about here and there, cooking at home, me spending time with myself. This is my favorite place in the world to be. So to be honest, I don't feel like um, anything has changed. So I, I'm just really humbled that there are people who still find me interesting, even when watching vlogs that even when i'm editing them sometimes i'm like sis really this is it <laughs> this is it uh, how are you doing spiritually and emotionally never mind the end of year fatigue like how are you cat i love that and thank you very much for that but outside of that i i feel good i feel good uh i am tired the fatigue is very real spiritually i feel extremely connected to my faith and my higher power and to god i have started going to church every friday which is something i absolutely love yes mother yes mother i hadn't been to church in months and over the last two months i've been going to church every friday i think i missed 
two Fridays where I couldn't go to church and there was a particular reason why I couldn't go to church. But outside of that, tomorrow's Friday and I'm going to be at church tomorrow morning. So uh, I feel very connected spiritually. I mean, I've got my Bible. I read my Bible uh, spiritually, also very connected to myself. My workbooks help me with that. I look at them every single day. Uh, no, not every single day, but every other day when I'm in bed, I wake up in the morning or go to bed at night. Um, I'm focusing a lot on myself and, and healing from a lot of things that I have gone through, but also at the same time, um, just welcoming a new version of me. So I'm really in a good place, really, really in a good place. Uh, emotionally, I'm just really happy. I'm happy that my family is good. Uh, I'm in a great relationship that I absolutely love. And um, yeah, I've got great people around me. So I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Would you recommend Naledi to do another season of uh, session of our YouTube Den? Uh, me personally, no, I wouldn't. Uh, if there's one thing I've noticed about social media and my sister, they always have a lot to say, even when my sister is just partaking in a challenge like the ceiling challenge or if she's just doing whatever everybody's got something negative to say so one of my favorite things about my sister and where she's at right now is that she's just doing her thing and she's thriving by doing her thing and being very particular about the projects that she chooses um and being very particular about what she chooses to engage in. So with our YouTube Den, no. I think I personally feel like it, it'll be setting her up again to look like some kind of villain and all of that. And nah. I've just realized that people just don't like my sister. And maybe also potentially me. But it's just that I'm not a ruffle featherer like my sister is. Which is one of the things I love about her as well. But um, I, just, I just stay in my lane. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, period. What's my one wish? Mm. If I told you it wouldn't be a wish now, it wouldn't. But I have it. It's in here and it's in here. So what motivates you? Uh, the fact that I want a better life for myself and for my family. Um, the fact that I'm helping people every day with everything I do, whether it's my content, it helps someone somehow. Uh, they either smile from it or they learn something from it or whatever. Uh, my coaching sessions are helping quite a number of my clients. And um, that's what keeps me going. Even in weeks where I'm tired, I really just don't have any strength in me to take in any more clients, any more work. Um, but I still want to do it. I still want to do it. Um, and also all the people that are looking up to me and looking towards me, to me, looking to me for help and all of that, they motivate me as well. Uh, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want any kids? And if so, how many? N not really. Yeah. I'm on and off about it, but if I did want one, one would be enough for me. Um, good sis, please share some tips on how to keep things spicy. Date each other every day. Choose each other every day. Like even when you have random conversations, like sex it up a little bit. Oh. <laughs> ah. Really? That's what you think? What you think? <laughs> you know, um... Pull faces, look at them with your heart. Let your heart speak through your eyes, especially if you love someone. I think uh, Diesel picks up when I look at him and, and at that moment I'm either saying thank you or I'm saying, uh, you wanna, you know, or I'm saying whatever. I don't really have to say it with my mouth. My eyes basically say what they need to say. But just date each other, bro. Like choose each other every day every day um don't let things go how they got you is how you will keep them and they will keep you and all of that don't let things go keep it spicy keep it sexy uh buy lingerie i still buy lingerie and we're over two years in you know what i'm saying buy lingerie um listen play some music have indoor 
candlelights, romantic dinners, uh, play games together, joke around with one another. Uh, we play games together. One of our biggest things is PlayStation and we literally play games together and it's so much fun. Um, just, yeah, man, just choose it every day. Choose your partner every day, every day. Say, so, see, please ask Mr. D when he's going to marry you because I'm waiting for your firstborn. <laughs> the answer to that, but she does say she's joking. She does say she's joking. The answer to that is no, I would never necessarily ask Mr. D. When are you gonna get? When are you gonna marry me? Or when are you gonna do right by me? Or whatever. That's just not in my nature. If you wanna do it, do it. If you don't wanna do it, don't do it. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying, Miss Mamas? Don't do it. Um, so, yeah. Um, what's the age gap between you and Naledi? I've mentioned this before. Seven years difference between Naledi and I. So I'm quite. Naledi's 29. Calculate my darling. There you go. There you go. How has your coaching business been going? What services do you offer? It's probably one of the most rewarding things I've ever done this year. Uh, one of the things I'm most proudest of. Um, so I offer coaching sessions which come in different packages. It, someone can decide whether they want to do one session. One session doesn't really help. It's like therapy. One session doesn't necessarily really get in there you know have you doing the work uh but then there's sessions of three sessions or five sessions those are packages and uh, i also do speaking engagements i also have my workbooks as well uh, which are all part of the life by design family so they're under the life by design umbrella um, so for me it's one of the most rewarding things uh that i could have ever done i remember one of the other questions that i got is um what would uh, somebody said it who this is this is a really great question and when i read it i was like this is a phenomenal question silly question and it's not a silly question but she starts it like saying silly question but here goes who could benefit from life coaching do I need to have a thriving career or life uh, or on my way to a thriving career or life? I'm asking as a person who personally feels like I need life coaching, but I don't feel worthy or feel like I don't meet certain standards that require me to take on the help of a life coach. To put it in simple terms, I haven't found my purpose, nor do I feel like I have one. This is one of the best questions I've received. And I am glad I... I, I I'm happy to answer it for you. Anyone can do with life coaching. I genuinely feel like if you're 18 and above, so whether you can be in varsity or you can be working, anyone first and foremost is entitled to a life coach. You can have a life coach. Typically what the qualifications are in order, qualifications are in order for you to enlist the services of a life coach is say you're in a position where something huge is about to happen, a big transition. Maybe you are finishing varsity and you're getting a job. You're going into the working field or maybe you are changing jobs, transitions. Maybe you have gone through a really tough mental health period maybe you've just been diagnosed maybe you have just gone out of a relationship maybe you're just in a place in your life where you're feeling stuck and you're not quite sure what the next move is um and maybe again you don't know what your purpose is you don't you're not quite sure about purposefully what you would like to achieve or what you're looking towards achieving how do you find your purpose? Maybe you don't know, right? So you enlist the services of a life coach and life coaches come in different forms. They are spiritual life coaches. They are mental health and self-development life coaches. They are business life coaches. They are um, career life coaches. So it's, it depends on you and what phase of your life you are in. If you are someone who wants to focus a lot more on your mental health and you want to, you want to become better for you so that you can become the best for your husband or your wife or your child or your colleagues or whatever, but you need to get right in here. That's when you enlist the services of a mental health life coach. Is someone knocking on my door? 
So it really just depends. You, you enlist the services of a life coach if you feel like you're in a position where you're stuck and or you're going through uh, big life transitions. Um, that, that helps. If you are going through, you're moving to another country because of a job and a career, then you enlist the services of a career coach because that is specifically what you want to focus on. Um, if you just want to be better, you want to be more confident, you want to boost your self-esteem, you want to uh, 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 be firmer, you want to be firmer in terms of creating boundaries and not letting people overstep those boundaries, but you're not sure how to go about that, that's when you enlist the services of a personal development coach or that kind of thing. So they just help walk you through all of that while providing you uh, with the necessary tools and equipment to help you get um, uh, 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 to get to where you want to be so of course that doesn't necessarily happen over one session for a lot of uh, my clients I always advise at least take three sessions so that you can see if this is making any changes for you or if it's doing anything for you and your life and then if you don't feel that way then we call it a day after three sessions, you know? So it really is truly, it's, it's for everyone. If you want to, I have a therapist, but I don't necessarily have a life coach because I haven't come across one who I could say that they, they would be representing what I need from them. So I feel like my therapist kind of takes in all of that while at the same time helping me heal through my traumas and all of that. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, hi, Ultimate Fave. <laughs> Ultimate Fave. <laughs> hey girl, what's your advice on buying a home? Like what should one know before making that commitment? It is a big undertaking. Also don't remember, also don't forget when you buy a home, when you make the decision of buying a home, you are tying yourself into 20 years of paying a bond. So that's really important. Are you prepared to tie yourself into all those years of actually paying a bond and if you are go for it girl but one of the things that you need to know uh your credit score is going to be your best friend when buying a home but also talk to the banks um banks have certain systems in place where you can check exactly how much you qualify for in terms of uh things like credit scores and yada 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 how much do you actually qualify for in terms of how much you make and they pair it with your expenses you kind of fill out like an electronic form to see um, but also very very important think about what kind of home you want right do you want a home where because you're still young you're starting out you just want a one bedroom two bedroom something that'll be comfortable for you um because it's your first home that's also good do you want your home to be in a complex do you want it to be a flat setup do you want it to be a cluster setup where they your next door neighbor is across from you and not on top or below you um those kinds of things where do you want the home to be because of course that also uh plays a huge part um interest rates are very important as well is this time the the financially viable time to be buying a, ho a home um for for you for you personally so there's quite a number of things but it's great because your bank plays a really awesome role in helping you um achieve all of that um so yeah i hope that helps are you a chiller i'm not I'm not, I'm not. Um, do I watch certain um, episodes or watch certain people that are on Mac G's um, podcast that I may have an interest in and want to see it? Yes, but am I a religious chiller? No. I also know that he's got other podcasts. I know my sister's been on one with Seema and uh, the two other, the guy and the girl. Uh, I didn't even watch that as well. I don't watch that one because I think that one is for a younger crowd. I don't think I would identify with uh, half of the things that are being said on that one. But yeah, McG, absolutely love it. There was a time where I would watch it religiously, um, but I'm not really much of a chiller anymore. And it's not because I don't want to, but McG's podcasts, the episodes are very long. And for me, I can only listen to something in, in short spurts. So I really like 
30 minute long podcast or 20 minute long podcast because then I can listen to an episode, get to work and then it's done. Um, whereas I feel like a lot of the time with longer ones, I struggle to finish them. So it becomes an issue. I feel like someone wants to say something, but then they're not. You have a great relationship with your dad. From what I've observed, you have always felt close to him or you've developed or has it developed into something full over time. Father is a very great dad. Given the opportunity to be a great dad, he will become, he will excel and be excellent at the role of playing dad. My father and I particularly have been quite close because of course we work together, but we also went through a period where we lived together in one house and it was just me and him. Um, for a number of years and so because of that we got really close as well my father shares a lot of stuff with me <laughs> and my sister hates it so much she said yeah and get away you're the favorites yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so my father shares a lot of stuff with me um we're very very close i think we i i get him and he gets me to a certain degree and uh, there's certain things like my mental health where he's just like i don't know I don't know, Katleo, I don't know. Um, but outside of that, he's a fantastic dad. I cannot stress that point enough. He's a really, really great dad. He's very attentive. He's very, very um, respectful of our privacy, especially me and that lady because we're older now. Uh, <clears throat> my father won't just randomly rock up without asking uh, and saying are you home are you busy even when he calls me he's like are you busy can you talk so he's just fantastic and i want the world for that guy um once i become a gazillionaire that guy is gonna sit and he's gonna live his best life he's gonna travel and he's gonna do whatever and it's gonna be all on me or my sisters and my brothers i don't know but i love that guy love that guy do you and Diesel intentionally sit down and talk about the future of your relationship and other plans or are you just living in the present? We are too old to be living in the present. We talk about it, everything. We talk about it. When are we going to do this? When do we want to achieve this by? Do we want to move in together? Diesel and I have assets and we've got uh, cars and all of that. So there's a lot of logistics and moving parts when it comes to our relationship and consolidating that involves a lot of conversations. That's why it's going to take a lot of time um, for, 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 for me and Diesel to be kind of in one space full time. Uh, but it will happen. But uh, uh, it's going to take a lot of time because there's just so many moving parts. But do we talk about things like that? Yes. Do we talk about how we feel about each other in the moment? Yes. Do I tell him that I don't really like you much now? Yes. Uh, are there moments where he doesn't like me much? Many. <laughs> but uh, the core beauty about the relationship is that there's a lot of emotional intelligence there's a lot of understanding communication loyalty which is a big one for me there's a lot of that too so yeah i think these guys actually want to do my garden because they're quiet unless they've gone to take lunch all right so i'm gonna end part one here thank you so much for watching i hope you are enjoying the q a and if you are i'm going to be bringing you part two very very shortly um thank you so much for everything thank you for the new subscribers thank you for supporting me throughout this year um planning something really special for the members members and also subscribers um so there will be a members only giveaway that's essentially what i'm saying there will be a members only giveaway and there'll be a full-on subscribers what what giveaway which are going to be kind of hampers um just to thank you for spam my gosh just to thank you for walking with me in the um 2023 period so i'm really looking forward to that one very very excited for that one so i'm going to fill up my glass of wine and then take another seat, sit somewhere different so that my mind can think differently and answer some more of these questions. Outside of that, I'll see you guys in part two. Thank you very, very much. And if you did enjoy it, please give it a like, subscribe, join the JK family. Uh, we'd love to have you here. It's a good time over here.
Okay, until the next one, which is part two, I'll see you very, very shortly. Sayonara.